Hello Fusion Designers! In this video I'll show a new version of Planetary Gears Maker which comes with new useful features. Plugin will be available at Autodesk App Store in two weeks. Links both for iOS and Windows will be put below the video. If you like this please thumbs up and subscribe the channel. Differences visible at first sight are on UI. On the top there appeared a menu section which contains Save, Load and Reset buttons moved from bottom of the form, switches for preview, with or without descriptions, switches for working with profile shifting, profile zero, automatic manual, switch for adding revolute joints. In the planet section there is additional field for set center distance manually when manual profile shifting is chosen. Chamfers section now has icons instead of checkbox. All fields have better descriptions on tool clips images when you hover cursor over them. At the very bottom there is an estimated time calculated based on the last 100 runs. When you run the plugin for the first time there will be no information about time because no statistics have been recorded yet. Estimated time is rounded up to first 10 seconds. Now you can also cancel the process by clicking the button when the progress window is shown. Ok, so let's go into more details and show this in action. The biggest changes are under the hood. First of them is the new way of creating Tooth's profile. Now it's more accurate, no matter Tooth has undercut or not. According to this, root fillet radius for separate gears is no longer available and the only thing to set is the clearance factor in the mine section. Second improvement are modes of profile shifting. In the first mode, profile 0, there is no profile shifting and the number of rings teeth are calculated automatically. It is the simplest and fastest mode for those of you who don't need to use shifting and only interested of zero profiles. Second mode lets you slightly enlarge the ring gear, maximum two teeth more, but shift factors are calculated automatically. Probably, in most cases, it won't hit the optimal surface strength of teeth, but it's the best choice for those of you who only need the contact between gears. There's also third mode if you want to set every coefficient on modified center distance manually. Center distance in this mode is located under the planet section. Back to the UI I also mentioned few other features. Preview is something which you let to see how big the model will be. It only displays cylinders and transparent rings instead of teeth but it's enough to see most important dimensions. In addition to this, there are text with dimensions and rings. Bold rings represents working pitch diameters and thin ones root and outside diameters. The biggest size of ring gear always equals root diameter plus two modules and in the plugin it is called as grade diameter. When gear set is ready you can easily modify it by pushing the outer surface or cut by smaller ring body. In case of auto and auto profiling there will be two working pitch diameters for planet. It's ok because relation sun planet and planet ring will be different from mathematical point of view. You can also click the third icon of preview mode which shows basic parameters for gears. Unfortunately preview can be overlapped by existing bodies. The same situation occurs when you change the view for parameters. They can be covered by gears model.
When set is ready, you probably want to check its behavior in motion. For making this faster, there is an option for adding joints for each gear. The only thing you need to do is to click the checkbox Add Joints in the menu section. Moreover, each component contains all parameters and motion link formulas in their description. For example, if you want to define a motion link between the Sun and Ring, you can copy description, find the proper rule Sun Input Planet Fixed Ring Output and pass it to the second gears field formula in the motion link window. Motion links cannot be handled by the API, but in presented way you can achieve this faster than by hand. Another thing which may be useful are axes. Based on them you can quickly find the exact center of gear when drawing sketches. The last thing is estimation time. File used for calculating this will be created right after the first gear set will be finished. It is located in the plugins directory in your Fusion 360 installation folder. New version supports backward compatibility, so if you have some files with saved parameters, you don't need to worry that they won't be read. Only thing to do will be probably change of theirs values when they exceed ranges, nothing else. As I mentioned, new versions should be available soon. Updates of other plugins are also underway, so stay tuned and see you next time. Bye!